Hi, my name is Amy Carroll. And as a communication coach and trainer, one of the most powerful verbal skills I teach people is something called the downward inflection. Let me explain what I mean. A lot of times when people are speaking, their voice goes up when they pause or at the end of a sentence. So it sounds like it's a question. And here's a, an example. My name is Amy Carroll. I'm a coach and a trainer. I live in Switzerland. I like chocolate. So the problem with this is that it can damage our credibility and worse than that, it can trigger someone to become a predator towards us. Now, I think the reason people do this is that unconsciously they think that they know it's communicating, I'm, nice, I'm a nice person, you're safe with me, I'm not a threat. And the problem, of course, is what I mentioned a second ago, that it can really have this aggressive reaction from other people. So if you think that's too high a price to pay, let me tell you how to master the down inflection. And before I do that, I have a quick story. You're going to be amazed at this. My sister, Pat, who's also a coach, was working with a woman. It's a two-day program. On day one, she taught the downward inflection. On day two, the woman comes into the classroom. She said, oh my gosh, that downward inflection thing is amazing. My sister said, why? What happened? She said, well, last night I was in the kitchen doing the dishes. And my son, Johnny, who's eight years old, we had this agreement. And the agreement is he has to do his homework before he can watch TV. Well, I knew he hadn't done his homework and I heard the TV on. So in the kitchen, I called his name. I said, Johnny, using the upward inflection. He didn't respond, so I said it louder. Johnny, still no response. So then I remembered that downward inflection thing. And so I said, well, let me try it. So she said, Johnny, yes, mom? Kind of cool, right? So I think the, probably the most famous person who uses, uses the downward inflection is this guy. The name is Bond, James Bond. So the question is, how do we all become James Bond without the gun? Well, here are my tips for mastering the downward inflection. First thing you have to do is you have to be able to hear it in yourself in your, from your, in your own voice because it's invisible at first. So find the app on your smartphone that's for audio recording, or if you don't have it, download a free one. Then just record yourself speaking normally, five, 10 sentences, where as if you're telling somebody about your day. And then go back and listen to it and see if you can hear the upper inflection. So once you can start to hear the upper inflection, you'll be able to start to self-coach. And the way you do that is formula three to five minutes a day in a low stress situation. You focus on this inflection. And you'll take a sentence and you'll pause multiple times in the sentence. Every time you pause, you pretend that's the end. So if, for example, the word has two syllables, if I say I like chocolate, I'm going up on the, the second to last syllable, down on the last syllable. Or if the word has one syllable, you go on, up on the, the word before. I like the color green. The other thing to do is use your chin. I like the color green. I like chocolate. And so every time you want to go down, you throw your chin down. Now, be careful not to injure your neck and don't do this in public because you're going to look kind of weird otherwise. And then the last tip is you trick your brain into thinking that's the end of the thought by saying to yourself, every time I pause, that's my last thought. And this will also help you a lot. Now, one of the challenges about mastering the down reflection is that people especially people who I work with who are really nice and really kind people, they feel like they're being too aggressive, too dominant, um, and, and potentially even rude when they do it. Now, that's either they're just not used to it, so it's a misperception they have, or they may be overdoing it with no smile. So look how intense this looks if I'm doing the downward inflection with no smile. My name is Amy Carroll. I'm a coach and a trainer. I live in Switzerland. I like chocolate. <laughs> You're like... Get that woman some chocolate because she looks a little bit scary. So what you want to do is make sure that you've got the smile. So it'll look like this. My name is Amy Carroll. I'm a coach and trainer. I live in Switzerland. I like chocolate. And I think it works over the phone as well because I think it also changes the quality of the voice itself, the sound of the voice. So if you want to increase your confidence, your credibility, get greater buy-in more easily, and get your kids to listen to you, you're going to want to master the downward inflection. And as I said a moment ago, the formula, three to five minutes a day in a low-stress situation. And I asked a colleague, not a colleague, it was a client who said he was working on this, and that it took him about eight weeks total before he could master the downward inflection without having to think about it.
So that's a good guideline for you. Also, feel free to check out my newsletter on my website, number 42. That will give you more details about the downward reflection as well as some videos to check out. Feel free to join me on social media or download my book, The Ego Tango. You can click on the link below for the social media. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in and happy partnering.